Hi, I'm Matt Williamson with Yard Barker here to talk about the Buccaneers traveling to New Orleans to play the Saints. I, I don't know what to make of this game, but I am super excited for it. Two Hall of Fame quarterbacks at the close to the end of the rope, but amazing careers and still playing quite well. For week one, massive playoff implications. Two very, very underrated defenses and two very well coached teams on both sides of the ball. So, as you can guess, I see this as a, a very equal game. I think both teams are quite good at the line of scrimmage. I think both these lines on both sides of the ball are quite good. And I'm not sure you can really give a quarterback edge to either squad right now. Um, playing in New Orleans seems much less challenging for the road team this week than usual. I mean, the crowd, crowd noise isn't going to be a problem, obviously. Both offenses have several big-time playmakers, and you know, hopefully Evans plays, but that's a little up in the air as we record this on Friday. Um, and I also expect Leonard Fournette to get the bulk of the work at running back with his new team in t for the Bucks. But I also think the Saints are brutal to run again, again, so I don't know if he has a lot of success on the ground if he does take over. I'm finding it really, really difficult to find a major edge with either team in this matchup. So give me the team, I guess, with more continuity. They are playing at home, although it's not as big an edge as usual. So I'm going to take the Saints in a game that might not have as many points as you think. May end up being the best game of the entire week one slate. I have them winning like 21 20. Let's give this call a 23 21 Saints edge. But it wouldn't shock me at all if the Bucs win this game. I really can't wait for this one. Uh, thanks again. I am Matt Williamson with Yardbar.